This is Alexandra Villaruel Abrego and welcome to another episode of Alexandra TV. In this week's episode, I'm going to share with you what are my 10 morning rituals, the 10 things that I do from the moment that I wake up in the morning to the moment that I start my day, my work day, of course. I know for sure that mornings are a sacred time. They are a time that you can use to prepare yourself physically, mentally, and even spiritually for the day to come, for all the opportunities and all the things that are going to happen throughout your day. I also know, and I've shared this with you many times, in past videos that the habits and the rituals that successful people have in the morning or even in the afternoon or at night, whatever, their habits and rituals are completely different from the habits and rituals that unsuccessful people have. And this is why having positive, empowering and productive habits and rituals in the morning is so important. Once you finish watching this video, please feel free to share with us your morning rituals. What are the positive, productive, and empowering things that you do in the morning? I'd love to hear from you. Now let's begin. The first morning ritual that I have is that I wake up very early, usually around five or six in the morning. It's at that time that I start my day. And the reason why I wake up so early, it's because I think that mornings, like I said, are a very sacred time. And if you take as many hours as possible to enjoy your morning, well, it's better, right? It's the best thing that you can do. If I would start my day at around nine or 10, well, I wouldn't really have time to do all these rituals that I'm about to share with you. So this is why I start my day very early. My second ritual, once I start my day at five, six in the morning, is that I set the intention for the day. I set the intention for the day by thinking about what do I want to accomplish? And most importantly, what do I want to bring to the world on this new day? Also, another little thing that I didn't mention is the moment that I wake up, the first thing that I do is I say thank you. I say it out loud. I just basically thanking the universe for having another day, another opportunity. And I think it, very often we take it for granted, right? We don't realize how lucky we are to start a new day and to have another 24 hours, right? So I always say thank you. And after I set the intention for the day. So what do I want to accomplish on this day and how will it help this world? How will it help others? When you set your intention for the day, make sure that it's not just about you and your life. Make sure it's about something greater than you. My third morning habit and ritual is that I meditate and pray. I always meditate and pray because it's a moment for me to feel at peace and feel quiet and be in a quiet space, really. And I think it's so important, especially in the times that we live in, right? We live in such busy times. We all have very busy lives. We're running from one place to the other. We have the emails, the text messages, the calls. Everything is happening at the same time. So if you can take at least a 30 minutes right after you wake up to have that little moment of peace, it's the best thing to do. And for me, I choose to meditate and to pray. But for you, if it's, let's say, to take a walk outside in nature, well, you can always choose to do that too. After I meditate and pray, I read. I read something positive, something empowering and inspiring. It's very important. I think it's going to really create from the very moment you start your day positivity around you and in your world and in your energy and inside of you. So I always make sure that I read at least a chapter of a book that I will be reading at that moment, at that time. And I always make sure, of course, that that book is positive, empowering and inspiring. My fifth morning ritual is that I awake my body. And this might sound funny, but under my bed, I have a little trampoline and I pull it out and I start jumping on my trampoline. So imagine someone at around like 5.30 in the morning in their bedroom alone, jumping on a trampoline. That can be very, very funny, but I always do that because it's a way for me to awake my body. Uh, I think very often a lot of people, what they do is that they wake up in the morning, they just drag themselves out of bed. They're like half awake. Then they drink like five cups of coffee. They take a shower and they're still not awake. Well, that's not the way to do it, right? If you want to awake your body the right way and start your day in a positive manner, well, the best thing to do is to activate your body. So you can do it by working out. You can do it by taking a run outside, whatever it is. For me, I jump in my trampoline. And another thing that I like to do in the morning is I make myself a cup of hot water, warm water with uh, lemon juice and that awakens also my body. 
The sixth thing that I do, again, to activate my body and all the cells in my body, but also to feel good and to be healthy, is that I work out. I work out for around 20 minutes every morning. I pull out my little yoga mat and I start working out. And I've been doing this really for years and it's a way for me, like I said, to activate my body, but also to have a healthier body. My seventh and eighth ritual kind of go together because right after I work out, well, I go take a shower and I get clean, of course. And after that, I start getting ready for the day. So seven is to just take a shower and get clean. And then eight is to prepare myself for the day. So I do my hair, makeup, I get dressed. And I think that this is a time where you should really take your time. Very often we're so rushed in the morning. That's the problem when you don't wake up early, right? When you don't start your day very early is that you're rushed and you're running around and we don't take that time to prepare ourselves for whatever's going to happen that day. Who knows? Maybe that day you're going to meet the most important person, whether it be in your personal life or in your professional life, someone who's going to change your life forever. So of course you want to be prepared for whatever opportunity the world, the universe might bring your way. So always take your time to prepare yourself and to be ready to make good impressions. My ninth habit is that I make breakfast and I eat my breakfast. I usually take around like 30 minutes to do this step, if I can call it like that. And it's usually more fruits that I eat in the morning. I like to make myself a nice smoothie. And I do this because usually during the day I'm more busy, so I don't really have time to eat all my intakes of fruits that I should be eating. So when I do it in the morning, it's the best time to do it. And finally, my 10th habit that I do every single morning is that I review the day ahead. So I sit down on my desk and I look at what's happening during the day. I look at my daily planner and I see what do I have to accomplish during the day, the meetings that I have, the calls that I have to make, the emails that I have to send, the things that I have to do really during the day and I prepare myself mentally for that. Now, here's a little thing that of course shouldn't be part of this video because this is a nightly ritual, but I'm still gonna share this with you is that what's on my planner for the day, what's on my daily plan, I take care of that the night before. So right before I go to bed, I prepare my day. And the reason why I do this is because, I don't know if you've ever had this happen to you, but you go to bed and then you're tossing and turning because you're thinking about, okay, tomorrow I have to do this and that, oh, I forgot to call this person, I have to do it. Well, when you prepare your day and when you write down everything that you have to do right before going to bed, you're not gonna have those thoughts anymore because you know exactly what's gonna happen. So back to the morning rituals. Well, in the morning, right before I start my day, I always just review and go through everything that I have to do and that just prepares me mentally a little more. So I hope that you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, like I said, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what habits do you want to start creating in your life or what habits do you already have that are helping you be better as a person. Also, let me know in the comments down below, would you like me to do a video where there's a camera that that follows me around in the morning so that you can actually see how I do every single step. I know there's a lot of videos like that on YouTube. It's like morning rituals and things like that. So let me know if you, if you like that idea. If you do, click on like and also leave a comment down below. Did you like this video? If so, here's three very simple things that I want you to do. First of all, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel because you get free videos every single week. So of course you don't wanna miss that. The second thing that I want you to do is I want you to go on my website, alexandravilawell.com and subscribe also to my email list because every week I send you content by email that you don't see here on Alexandra TV, but it's free content with coaching techniques, strategies, so you don't wanna miss that either. And the third thing that I want you to do is I want you to share this video. Share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, email it to a friend or even call a friend and say you need to go watch this. As Maya Angelou once said, when you learn, teach. So everything that you learned today, make sure you share it and you teach it to someone. I look forward to seeing you next week for another episode of Alexandra TV. And until then, don't forget to love life, others, and yourself.